Italy is a country in Europe that looks like the shape of a boot. In Italy, people like to cook with fresh ingredients that come from close to where they live. Many Italian families spend a lot of time cooking big meals that they can all enjoy together. There are many types of Italian food, including pasta and pizza. Pizza is made by putting toppings such as cheese, meat and vegetables all over a piece of dough covered in sauce. Now Eddie has washed his hands, put his apron on and he's ready to cook. I'm making an olive pizza for my friends. And he's invited round Ian, Daniel and Amelia to taste one of the main ingredients before they come round for an Italian meal later. What's that? Grape or a blueberry? It's not a grape. So what do you think it is? It looks like an olive. It is an olive. <laughs> It's quite bad. Oh dear. It does not taste nice. Do you think everyone will like Eddie's pizza? It has got olives in it. It's quite disgusting. So, as well as olives, you'll also need sugar, salt, water, dried yeast, strong white bread flour, tinned plum tomatoes, olive oil, black pepper, and mozzarella cheese. Come on, Eddie, tell us what's first. We get the ball on here. First, I'm going to measure my flour. That's really important, Eddie. My mum taught me how to cook this pizza. To make the dough, Eddie's adding dried yeast and a pinch of salt. You'll need to keep the salt away from the yeast. Now we get the sugar. The yeast likes the sugar. So the yeast will eat that. The yeast will make the dough rise so it becomes much bigger. What's next? You can get two spoons of oil and put it in the water. Great. Now pour that in. And then we need to mix it around with this. That looks really sticky. Go on, mix it all together. We're making a dough for the pizza. I think I need to get my hands in. Yes, you do, Eddie. Squeeze it together. Yeah, just like that. Get a, a flour, sprinkle it around there. Get that. Put it on here. And that flour will stop it sticking to the board. India is called the land of spices. It produces more spices than any other country in the world. Ria and Rohan have washed their hands, put on their aprons, and now they're ready to cook. We are making tandoori chicken with yogurt and mint sauce for our friends. And they've invited Winchester, Maya, Abby, and Ben to taste one of the main ingredients before they come round for a very special Indian meal later. What's that? Is it a sort of nut? I think it's a nut. Uh, a nut? It's not a nut. <laughs> uh, it's garlic. Spicy. Yucky and spicy. It makes it really hot. I don't like it. I don't really like it. Oh, no, they don't seem to like garlic at all. Let's find out if Rhea and Rohan can change their minds, because garlic is an important ingredient in their tandoori chicken with yoghurt and mint sauce. As well as garlic, you'll need cooked chicken thighs, spices and salt, olive oil, black pepper, natural yoghurt, fresh mint and fresh coriander. What's first then, Rhea and Rohan? We're getting the cumin seeds and the coriander seeds. Ah, that's cumin seeds and coriander seeds. I'm just going to bust them all up. Yeah, grind them all up. Add smoked paprika, garam masala and fenugreek 
Be careful not to get any spices in your eyes. It could be painful. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. And I'm going to add some pepper. Wow, look at all those colours. Now we're going to ha have the scales. We need the yoghurt. Those two have to be equal like that. And pour the yoghurt in until the scales balance. There, that's balanced. Great. Now we're just going to take that off and pour it in. What's that? It looks like cardboard. It looks like... celery. Oh, it's not celery. Oh, it tastes like garlic or something like, you know, like onion or something. It's not garlic either. Mmm. Horseradish? That's right, it's horseradish. No, I don't like that. No. Oh, dear. Let's see if Mason can change their minds, because horseradish is one of the ingredients in his Yorkshire pudding with sausages. You'll also need cooked cocktail sausages, plain flour, eggs, broccoli, water, milk, black pepper and vegetable oil. Take the broccoli. I'm going to snap the broccoli into small pieces. Then just tip into the dish and make sure you pour the water all over it. When that's done, you need to cover the bowl with foil. Very neatly done. I'm going to weigh the flour onto the scales. The flour looks like snow, but really powdery. Next, we're going to grind some black pepper. Then crack an egg into a mug, give it a whisk and tip it into a jug. Then do the same with another egg. And remember to wipe your hands after touching raw egg. We're going to do the milk now. I've got to add some spoons of milk. And now it's time for a whisk. That's it, Mason. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. We've got to add the milk and egg mixture to the flour bit by bit because we don't want it to have lumps. This will be the batter for the Yorkshire pudding. My daddy came from Yorkshire and every time I go to my nanny and Pop Pops, I have Yorkshire puddings with something special. Now it's time for my special ingredient. And you know what that is, don't you? That's right, it's horseradish. Horseradish comes from the root of the horseradish plant. When the flowers on the plant die, the root is dug up and used in cooking. Horseradish has a very strong taste and can be chopped, grated or made into a sauce that's often eaten with a roast dinner. Many years ago, some people rubbed horseradish into their heads to make their headaches go away. China is a very large country in East Asia. More people live in China than in any other country in the world. Cooking is very important in Chinese life and Chinese food has lots of different flavours. They're sweet, sour, salty, bitter and spicy. Most food is cooked in small bite-sized pieces and eaten with chopsticks instead of knives and forks. Larry has washed his hands, put on his apron and he's ready to cook. Today I'm going to cook steamed toast for egg and prawn for my friends. And he's invited Lewis, Anya and Morgan to taste one of the main ingredients before they come round for a very special Chinese meal later. What's that? It's all squishy. It. It's tofu. No one seems very keen on tofu so far. Tastes soggy. I don't want to eat any more of it. It's disgusting. Let's see if Larry can change their minds because it's one of the main ingredients in his tofu egg and prawn recipe. 
As well as silk and tofu, you will need eggs, salt, water, prawns, broccoli, sesame oil, spring onions, soy sauce and fish sauce. Now we wash the prawns in colander. I'm washing them to get rid of the dirt. Add a pinch of salt and then give them another rinse. Now I'm going to pat them dry with a kitchen towel. That's right, Larry. You must wash your hands after handling raw prawns. Crack some eggs. In Chinese, we say egg as jida. Wipe your hands again. Add a pinch of salt. I'm going to use chopsticks to stir them. Chopsticks are things that Chinese people used to eat. Then pour the eggs over the prawns. Now for spring onions. This is what we call top and tailing. Then carefully cut up the rest of the spring onions. Lexi's washed her hands, put on her apron, and she's ready to cook. I'm making Glamorgan sausages for my friends. And she's invited Safi, Roman, and Lily to taste one of the main ingredients before they come round for a very special Welsh meal later. What's that? I don't know what it is. Thinking this is like kind of vegetable. I think it's a leek. Well done, it's cooked leek. Don't like it. Uh oh. And it's really like squishy and stuff. It's not my type of food I would eat. Do you think Lexi can change their mind? Because leek is one of the main ingredients in her Glamorgan sausages. You'll also need plain flour, carefully cheese, English mustard powder, white and brown bread slices, fresh parsley, eggs, black pepper and olive oil. First I'm going to take a grater and grate some bread. I'm, I'm tearing up bread to put in the grater. This is brown bread. Now I'm grating the bread to make bread crumbs for the Gamogan sausage. Do the same with white bread to make white crumbs. And I am finished. Now I'm going to pour this into the bowl. And put half into another dish for later. Now crumble the carefully cheese onto a plate. It's just making me hungry. Oh, me too. Add it to your bowl. Take some parsley, pull off the leaves, put them into a mug, carefully chop and put them into the bowl. And I'm going to take an egg and crack it. Check for shell and give it a mix. Tip into the bowl and do the same with another egg. Don't forget to wipe your hands after touching raw egg. Add the mustard powder, black pepper, and give it another mix. Mix it, mix it, mix it! Time for my special ingredient. And you know what that is, don't you? Leek. A leek is a vegetable that's related to an onion. Leeks can be cooked and used as an ingredient in dishes such as soups and casseroles. In ancient times, the Roman Emperor Nero ate so many leeks, many people called him porophagus, which means leek eater. Leeks are grown all over the world, but they're most famous in Wales, where it's the national vegetable. 